Hey, this is Ian Franzen, the College Web Pro. In this tutorial video today, I'm going to show you how to add stock photos to your website. So there are places online that you can find royalty-free stock photos that you can use for free. I'm going to show you where those places are, and I'm going to show you how to insert those photos into your website. And there's a few different ways you can do that. So the only thing that you need for this video is a College Web Pro web hosting account, and you need your website set up on the built-in site builder through College Web Pro. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to log in to the website editor. So if you go to collegewebpro.com and then you click on client login, it'll prompt you for an email address and a password. So you want to put in your account information. And if you don't know your password, just click on the button that says forgot password and you can reset your password back to your account. So put in your information and then press the blue button that says login and then you want to click on the blue button next to your website that says edit site so on the right hand side under my Weebly sites click on the blue button that says edit site so in this example video I'll be working on a website um, it's a website advertising southern sweet tea so we're going to be sprucing up this website with some stock photos. Um, so it's a nice looking site, but there's not very much, not very many photos. So um, we're going to add some stock photos. So if you don't have original photos yet, or you're in the process of getting them done, um, the, my favorite place online to find royalty-free stock photos is a website called Pixabay. So if you open up a new tab and type in Pixabay, it'll bring you to um, to this website it has um, you know hundreds of thousands of free stock photos that anyone can use um, there's no copyright you have to worry about or anything like that so um, you can enter in any kind of keyword or you can just browse through but they have really amazing photos and they're all free so um, on this site you could just um, let's say type in T um, so I'm going to download a few of these photos here. So I'm going to open up a few different tabs with these photos. Um, you can see the different tabs opening. I'm holding control on my keyboard while I click so to open up a separate tab with each, each um, new image. So I'm just going to download um, a few of the photos here. Alright, so now I have about eight photos, so I think that's sufficient. So um, if you go to each photo that you opened, um, you can download like a small, medium, or large version of the photo. Um, I recommend just downloading the medium version. So I'm going to download um, all the photos that I selected. Just clicking on free download and then downloading the medium version. You can see it's downloading them um, to my computer as I click the button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I have eight photos now, so I'm going to close out all these tabs. And um, one more website I'll show you. Um, this is another website that has a ton of royalty free stock photos. Um, the photos are usually less high quality, but there's more of them. So if you need photos for an obscure topic, um, you know, I'd recommend images.google.com. Um, so if you search for something like we don't have any pictures of anyone actually drinking tea so there's a lot of nice photos here but the only problem is a lot of these images um, are copyright and we don't want to use copyrighted images on your website um, usually nothing happens but you can get a cease and desist notice saying that you have to remove the photo so um, we want to avoid that we don't want to use anyone else's work so under if you click on search tools and then under usage rights, it lets you um, change the usage rights settings. So if you search for images that are labeled for reuse, 
it'll show you um, all images that you can use freely on your website. You just need to uh, select labeled for reuse. Um, so I'm going to pick out a couple photos here. This is a very large image. Um, all right, so now I have ten photos total, two from Google Images or three from Google Images, um, and I think uh, seven or eight from. Uh, from Pixabay. So now I'm going to add these photos into the website. So I have the photos downloaded to my computer. Um, so now I should be logged into the editing system. And now you can close out Pixabay or Google Images. Um, and there's a few different ways you can add photos into the website. So the first thing I would recommend on a home page is having a header. So you can add a header to a page by clicking on the Pages tab click on the page that you want to add the header to and under header type you can select header and it'll put a header in so a header is just the area directly below the menu um, on each page so you can add a header area and you can adjust the size of the header and you can also add an image to the header if you want so if, instead of having this blue color here you can replace it with a photo for example I'll, I'll um, first I'll delete the spacer um, so I'll click on the blue and then edit background and then if you close out color and select image and then replace um, you can find a stock photo here or you can upload your own image so I'll upload image I'll use one of the photos that I downloaded and then I'll click on um, well so the white text doesn't stand out very well because the background is kind of bright so to make the white text stand out a little bit more I'll darken the background so I'm gonna click on the header image click on edit background click on the edit button and darken the image here with a slider so I'll bump it up to 70 percent and that'll make the white text stand out a little bit more so I added a header image. Now I'm going to add a photo gallery. So I'm going to click on the build menu here. I'm going to drag a gallery where I want it to go. And now I'm going to add a few images here. So I'm going to select the images on my computer that I want to add to the photo gallery. I'll put in five and I'll drop them into the gallery. So now you can see I uploaded the five images. It doesn't look quite right because it's a three column gallery. So I'll change it to five columns. Um, to change the columns, you just click on the image gallery um, and then you can, it'll bring up the gallery settings here and you can change the amount of columns. Um, you can also change the spacing on the top or the bottom. You can change the spacing between the images. You can also add a border that looks kind of nice with a little subtle border on the side. So I added a five image photo gallery there. Um, the other thing you can do is you can add a slideshow. For example, on Sweet Tea Recipes, um, I'll put a slideshow on this page. So you drag the slideshow element where you want it to go. You select the style of slideshow that you want. I'll pick one without thumbnails and then you can drag the images um, into the into the slideshow here so I'll select um, four of the images drag them there and um, they'll be added to the slideshow I'm not sure why it's not adding the fourth image but let me try it again 
add photos and then it's the chamomile there we go so then I'll click the blue button that says save and then um, I added the slideshow to the page so you can see those beautiful um, crisp high resolution photos um, you can also change the size of the slideshow just by adding a, you know something next to it Just add a little more text to balance it out. Um, so we added a slideshow, we added a gallery, we added a header image, and um, now I'm just going to add a regular image. So an image, um, you just drag the image, you can position it alongside text if you want, or you can um, you know, just add it on its own. Um, all right, so um, I showed you how to add an image. Um, you should, you know, that looks so much better now that it's actually filled in with images. Um, and we only used royalty, royalty-free um, stock images, so we don't have to, you know, be worried about copyright or anything like that. So um, I really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to call me or email me. And thank you so much for watching.